Okay, so it's been a few days now since the big New Game Plus update dropped for Marvel Spider-Man 2. This came with a ton of new content added into the game, some new things to unlock, some new things to do. Obviously, the key one was New Game Plus. Now, if you have a completed save, you can start a New Game Plus save. This allows you to play through the entire story again, now with all of your unlocks, all the suits that you've earned, and you can use whatever suit you like during whatever cutscene. There are some really key moments throughout the story that I know a lot of people wanted to just switch to the classic suit or the advanced suit 2.0. A lot of people wanted to take off the Evolve suit, and I get it. And all that now we can do, thankfully, alongside, you know, changing the time of day, changing your tendril colors, and so much more added into this update that I honestly couldn't even cover it in one video. Not to mention, you know, this update also came with the change of the Raimi suit. You know, a lot of people didn't really like how the Raimi suit looked originally, and finally Insomniac has updated it to look a little closer in terms of its colors, how it looked in the movies. I was never one that, like, hated the way that it looked before. I honestly thought it looked fine. Of course, it could have looked closer to the actual film version of the suit, but I was never going to be one to be attacking Insomniac over it or hounding them, especially during a time where they were under such immense emotional distress from the hacking that took place towards the end of last year. But hey, they did it. They took in the feedback from the community. They changed the suit, and that's awesome. Now, they also secretly changed another movie suit to look closer to how it did in the films. And that was specifically the home coming suit for Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Again, I, I was never one to have seen it to be a completely inaccurate version of the costume. I thought it was completely fine. And honestly, I thought it looked a lot better in Spider-Man 2 than it did in the original Marvel Spider-Man game. But hey, again, they secretly updated it and now it looks a lot closer to how it did in that first Spider-Man MCU film. There was also a, a bit of an issue with the latest update that Insomniac had to fix. You see, when the update first went live, they tweeted out saying that we're aware the latest game update may have inadvertently allowed access to a development game menu. There's a hotfix on the way. Please note that using this menu could corrupt your saves and trophy progress. There was no risk associated with playing the game as intended. Yeah, some people found a weird way to get access to the development menu, and that was promptly hotfixed and patched out of the game. They tweeted just a day later, hey there, we deployed a hotfix version 1.002.001 for this overnight. Please ensure that you have an internet connection to gain access to our latest update. So so, you know, the whole development menu thing now has been patched out of the game. And I mean, like they said, if you were to use it, you could corrupt your save. You could interrupt your trophy progress if you want to go trophy hunting and all that stuff. Sadly as well, this update did bring a bit of a weird bug for the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit. Something, something's going on with the eyes there. It's looking a little rough. Insomniac has noted that they're aware of the issue and they're working on a fix and they will deploy at some point a patch in the future to fix this. And you know, Insomniac has been pretty good here at responding to the community. There's still a lot more features that people are requesting, more quality of life updates to be added into the game. And Insomniac is responding that they appreciate that feedback and that their voices are being heard. You know, for instance here, Fuzzby over on Twitter said, Insomniac, is there a way that I can change the parrying from the tendrils to the spider arms in New Game Plus? And Insomniac responded, not currently, but we've noted the feedback here. I asked Insomniac, you know, is there a way that I can get the people watching right now to hit the thumbs up button on this video? And they said that they'll never release a patch for this game ever again unless you do so. And that is a totally real tweet. It was deleted, so I don't have the screenshot and there's no way that I can show you proof that it exists, but I, you gotta trust me on this. But in all seriousness, you know, like I said, they are listening to the community. People are even requesting Requesting if they can add in a quality of life update so that we can also change weather effects alongside the ability to change the time of day. And again, Insomniac responded to people saying that their feedback has been noted. That is definitely one of my most requested features right now. I love that they added the ability to change the time of day. And I honestly love as well that it happens just like that. You literally change the time of day. And when you get out of the pause menu, it is automatic. Not a single loading time, not even like, okay, restart your checkpoint. Where you were standing when you went into the pause menu to change that time of day is where you will be when you get out of the pause menu, now with your change of time of day. But you know, having the mission replay in there as well, I just go back to that mission where the rain and the lightning is present and it just looks so epic. It creates some amazing visuals for photo mode. And I would love to just have that as an option I can select at any time for the entirety of the city, just to see what the whole city looks like during that time of day with that weather another thing that i need to note for people who are on their new game plus playthrough be very careful with how you're spending your tokens from what i have read online i haven't completed my new game plus playthrough just yet but from what i'm seeing from people online you're not going to be able to get the exact number of tokens that you need to unlock 
all the new stuff so you won't be able to combine all the trees in the suit tech and you also won't be able to get all the golden gadgets within one new game plus run and also man it is freaking hard to get through ultimate levels so that i can unlock some of those suit styles it is a grind for sure but honestly it's reinvigorated my love for this game it's given me an excuse to pump a ton of hours into marvel spider-man 2 and I can't really complain. The silver lining here though, and what I thought was really awesome is that there is a new game plus plus. You see, after you complete new game plus, you can create another new game plus save through that, which carries over your unlocks from the new game plus save. So then that's how you can get even more tokens and progress even further to be able to unlock literally everything. All the stuff in the suit tech fusion, all the golden gadgets, all your ultimate levels and everything i know it sounds like a bit of a grind and it is but hey it's as good an excuse you can ask for to be jumping back in and playing through this game over and over and over again and having all your unlocks you know the enhanced traversal abilities the symbiote abilities and everything right from square one i mean it makes the story run a lot quicker plus you know if you're like me and you've played through the story multiple times already before new game plus even launched you can just skip through some cutscenes, and honestly you can get to the end of the game very fast but there are some moments that you know, we're definitely not skipping through because man it is cool and with that being said, let me now kick it to you guys. Are there any more new things that are in this update that I still haven't caught? Maybe I'll make another video on it in the future. Obviously, we're still holding out hope. We're still crossing our fingers that there's going to be some DLC for Marvel Spider-Man 2, or at least something that we can look forward to from the game later this year. If there's going to be some new suits, I'm surprised that the kids' super suits actually weren't added. Listen, I'm not saying I'm particularly excited about the kids' super suits, okay? I'm not highly anticipating those suits. They are not great designs, in my personal opinion. But I honestly thought that by this point, we would have seen seen them added into the game you know these were things that were teased before the game even came out you know we had kids super and all these other celebrities that he was collaborating with saying that they were working on suit designs for spider-man and then we saw some concept art of those suits and now they haven't been added into the game yet then again though you know of course insomniac did go through something towards the end of last year that probably had taken up a ton of time away from developing things like those suits and i mean game development is not just push this magic button and that thing gets added into the game contrary to what people online will tell you so i'm sure insomniac is still working on the suit and maybe we'll see them in a future update that adds in even more quality of life updates like some of the ones that people are requesting changing the parry from either the symbiote or the iron arms the ability to also change the weather effects that are going on in the open world and all that fun stuff again i'm glad at least that insomniac is hearing the feedback that the community is providing i know myself and a lot of people as well want more comic book suits to be added into the game i was really glad that they added those hellfire gala suits they are awesome and again fingers crossed that we're going to get more stuff like that more free updates in the future and of course, you know, if there's any more news from Marvel Spider-Man 2, any new updates, or as well, just anything for superhero gaming, I got you guys covered right here on this channel. Just hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. You don't want to miss a thing. But hey, like I said, sound off with your thoughts in the comments below on what you thought about the latest update and what you thought about some of the secret things that were added in that update. And with that being said, I've been Caboose. I'll see you guys later.